Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are PM Justin Trudeau has accused opponents of stoking national divisions for the Energy East pipeline cancellation through their reactions to TransCanada. Trudeau has slammed critics who blame the project's cancellation, a result of the government regulation. A 19-year-old Canadian has pleaded guilty to terrorism-related charges in New York City. The Canadian, identified as Abdul Rahman of Mississauga, has been in custody since the FBI arrested him in New Jersey in May 2016 for having connections with ISIS-inspired plots. The family of an Alberta woman who was killed in the Las Vegas shootings has thanked the support they have received from across North America. Her parents said that their hearts were broken and they were struggling with how to go on. The Greater Montreal Real Estate Board is concerned about the consequences that the government's proposed measures to amend the Real Estate Brokerage Act will have on consumers. The bill is aimed primarily at improving the regulation of the financial sector and the protection of money deposits. The International Association of Business Communicators has awarded Canadian professional communicators for their excellence in management and skills. 66 entrants were honoured with a Silver Leaf Award and 6 with an award of merit out of more than 158 entries submitted in 2017. Canada's political leaders should take bold action by joining forces to decriminalise illicit drugs in the midst of an unprecedented overdose crisis. The Canadian Drug Policy Coalition said that PM Trudeau's stance on legalising marijuana must also apply to drugs that have killed thousands of Canadians. British Columbia has been turning to experiments with modular housing to help with the critical lack of short-term accommodation. The temporary modular housing will involve the construction of small self-contained living quarters which can be shipped directly from a factory and quickly assembled anywhere in the province. The Chemistry Industry Association is welcoming consultations to determine Canada's approach to chemicals management post 2020. CIAC strongly supports the Minister's approach to take the appropriate time to consult and engage with all affected stakeholders and to ensure the implications of any changes to the process. Nurses with Perth District Health Unit are going to conciliation talks on Wednesday as they seek a new contract with the Board of Health. The 42 Ontario Nurses Association members have been without a contract since December 2016 and are dealing with issues of homelessness. The Government of Canada has been looking for creating better cell phone services and value for the middle class. Minister of Innovation, Science and Economic Development Navdeep Baines said that they have launched a public consultation that would help them come up with a plan to put Canadians first in telecommunications sector. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Gujarat follows.